It's going to slap you straight in your face. It's going to come sudden, all of a sudden to you. That's you find what's known as a sudden death. You know, many people say, oh, he was, he was a good person. Uh, he was too young to die. There's no such thing as too young to die. You're agile. La yast, la There's not going to be no delay and no, and no excelling. You're agile. When you're, you're agile comes, that's the end of your life. Allah knows when to take your life. You've been destined to die at a certain location, certain time, certain place, certain location. That's the end of the life of that individual. No one can argue with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say that why did this individual die at this moment in time? If it's a sudden death, it's a lesson for us. The rest of us to see, to take that ibrah. Now, this suddenly has happened to my friend, to my loved one, to my family members, to my parents, to somebody that I, I've grown up with. What, what should that do inside a person's life? What is the, the sensible individual? The sensible individual is one who sees the signs, sees these symbols and begins to prepare for that journey or that return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we find some other hadith of the Prophet والسلام, whereby speaking about that the whole world, that the whole world begins to say that we, are, we rest from this individual. When this individual is taken from this dunya, if he's a good person, then you find a person is at ease and at rest. And they say, quickly hasten to bury this individual, to give him his, his good, glad tidings, to give him the reward inside al akhirah And if he's an evil person, they say, quickly bury him, so we can take the weight off our shoulders. And as you find that good people, you find by every good name, they're made mention of on the face of this earth. And every evil, wicked person, on the face of this earth, when they're living, they call them by these bad, wicked names. And when they leave this dunya, there's nothing good speaking about these individuals. So how do we want to leave, as I say, leave a legacy behind on the face of this earth? Do you want to be known by every wicked, futile name on the face of this earth? And that's what you're known by on this earth is how you're going to be treated inside al akhirah by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man ahabba liqa Allah, yahabba Allah liqa'ahu. Whoever wants to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whoever loves to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah loves to meet that individual. Aisha, our mother, she mentioned, but we all, we have this, Hatred for, of death, this concept of hatred of death because nobody wants to part from this dunya. Because why have we become so tuned to this dunya? It's part of our system, part of our life. 50, 60, 70 years of living here, working here, friends, whatever, enemies, whatever it may be. It becomes part of your system, your blood system. So it's very hard, hard to leave that behind. person feels that. But within all of these difficulties, the real believer within themselves, they know that this is all like, a, like an eggshell. It will crack at any moment in time. They're looking for that purity within themselves that I have to work and strive to get back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the person who has that yearning desire inside their heart that I want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will even if I've committed sins in my life but I have that feeling inside my life that I know that Allah will forgive me. Please like, share and subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Please also like, share and subscribe to our Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description of this video.